The imposter still lives. Yes, you heard it. The imposter still lives, even in the vacuum of the space. Now hear me out. You all might think that the imposters are made up of the same smushy biological matter that we humans are made up of. You might be right, but there is one major difference. You see, we humans need constant aerobic or anaerobic respiration to retain the flow of energy which keeps our blood running and keeps us alive. This respiration must occur rapidly and continuously otherwise the energy flow is discontinued and the blood flow in our system stops consequently killing us. We as warm blooded animals retain our body temperature in different environments. This means that if for instance we are to be thrown onto the Antarctic continent our body would try to retain a body temperature of 37 degrees celsius. The body would burn fat, respire rapidly and use up all the usable energy to keep us at the optimum temperature. For cold blooded animals however it is different. Cold blooded animals cannot regulate their body temperatures and so their body temperatures directly depend on the temperature of their environment. When the environment heats up, they are overheated and die off. Snakes might even try to bite the end of their own tail. When the temperature of the environment falls below sub-zero, cold-blooded animals get their metabolism slowed down and go in a state of torpor, mainly known as hibernation. There are exceptions as well. Bears are well known for their hibernation through the winter as well. But this is just a mere scratch on the surface of what I am about to tell you. Tardigrades are microscopic creatures that inhabit every corner of earth. They can be found in the deepest of oceans, coldest of places and even on volcanoes or simply in your backyard. How about I told you that they can even survive the vacuum of the space. Through the use of a technique called cryptobiosis, they can live in extreme environments even without the presence of oxygen for up to three decades. This is basically hibernation but on steroids. Now we know from the movie The Thing by John Carpenter, the alien parasite mimics what it kills. In the movie, we can see that it mimics the dog-wolf hybrid that it kills, taking up its shape, form and instincts. As tardigrades are organisms of microscopic scale, their presence is theoretically everywhere and that includes multicellular organisms such as humans or wolf husky hybrids. While the parasite learns from the bigger organisms, it also learns from the microscopic ones which includes tardigrades. It learns respiration, hibernation, energy retention, sleep, reproduction and finally cryptobiosis. The learning of cryptobiosis renders the imposter virtually indestructible. This means that the imposter cannot die in the vacuum of space, by the fall from a skyscraper or even in volcanoes. You might be wondering in the movie the imposter gets blown to bits and burned alive, right? Well yes, that is because cryptobiosis is not a passive state and has to be activated so that the organism may survive. In cryptobiosis, all the water in an organism's body is taken out and a condensed husk is what is left, kind of like a cocoon. This process takes a certain amount of time to activate and cannot be activated instantly. In conclusion, if the imposter knows that it is going into an extreme state which will result in its death, it will do everything in its power to survive, thus activating cryptobiosis, which will render it immune to any harsh environment that otherwise will result in an instant death. Subscribe if you like the video. See you next time when I expose Jeffrey Epstein's pedo ring.